relegation, but in the first half at Tanadice yesterday, it wasn't hard to see why these two sides are propping up the rest of the SPL. Occasionally inspirational, Charlie Miller did his best to lift the standard of play in a dire opening 45, but just couldn't beat the crossbar. But just when we were praying for the interval to put us out of our misery, the home side conjured up a splendid first goal. Expertly finished by Derek Lilly. Stephen Thompson did all the hard work, breaking away after Livy had had a corner at the other end, and Lilly's left foot didn't let him down. Then the real action started in a truly wonderful second half. United looked to have all three points safely tucked away when Jim McIntyre pounced for number two. Slack defending from Livingston as Stephen Thompson flicked on the long throw-in to create the chance. An hour gone and 2-0 down, Levy threw on all their subs and started a remarkable comeback and Gary Boland literally almost burst the net with a perfectly executed volley. United failed to deal properly with the corner and from being out for the count, Levy were back on their feet. Another big counterpunch was coming as well as United staggered on the ropes. The equalising goal was sheer class, created and executed by Barry Wilson with a little help on the 1-2 from Rolando Zarate. The goal of the game and Livingston amazingly back on terms. United had spurned other chances to go further ahead with young Stephen O'Donnell hitting a post, but there was no sympathy from Wilson as Livy roared back. The Lions were hungry for more and could smell United blood, and their incredible 10-minute purple patch was completed with a winning goal. David Bingham's cross, perfect for Eugene Daddy. Daddy's waited a long time to break his scoring duck for Livingston, but his timing was perfect yesterday afternoon to help his side move off the bottom of the table. United were simply stunned by the turn of events, as they should have been home and hosed long since. Their luck summed up in injury time when Scotland striker Stephen Thompson just failed to rescue a point for his caretaker manager.